walking and probably for more of this weekend I will be just depending on what I end up doing so I'm doing part two of my hair to go uh, blonde more blonde so I'm excited I just left work so glad it's Friday um, but I have to drive 20 minutes or so um, to where my hair appointment is I was going to try to grab something to eat dinner since I'm usually there for like two hours and I'm starving so we'll see if I have time to grab something to eat I might not and that's okay sorry guys really need to get a GoPro because it's really hard to film in the car with just my camera so um, yeah I'm really excited to get my hair done I've been looking forward to this for a while um, I'm really hoping that we can get the blonde that I'm looking for so that I don't have to go back as much as I love my hairstylist I definitely don't love the expensive price so um, hopefully this will pull the way I want it to um, so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know what I'll be doing so of course I will be recording that um, and if you're watching this um, it's probably Wednesday um, that's when I uh, post usually Wednesdays and Fridays um, but yeah just wanted to let you guys know um, what I'd be doing but once I get there um, I will shoot some more so you guys can see um, everything that's going on so I'll see you guys when I get there to grab a protein style burger at in and out um, it's right down the street from where I'm getting my hair done so I'm gonna have to scarf it down but that's okay um, so hopefully this doesn't take too long there's not a ton of people in front of me but we're almost there so I thought I'd give you guys an update. Um, don't really have a lot of plans this weekend. I have to go get my passport uh, pictures done for me and um, my daughter. So my husband already renewed his a couple years ago because he was traveling for work. Um, I haven't renewed mine since it expired in, I think it was 2015, um, but I need it for several trips coming up and of course my daughter needs one she's never had one before so we're gonna go get the pictures done so I'll be excited to have my hair just freshly done um don't know if I have to do any shopping this weekend but of course I'll bring you guys along if I do I really enjoy vlogging versus sitting down and shooting videos only because vlogging is just so much easier but um yeah I'll just grab my food and I'll update you guys once I get to the salon.
so, oh my, oh my gosh, gosh it's that hermoso, so dude. Yes, this is <laughs> That's gonna be the thumbnail now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Isn't it See super cute? It. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it looks Look so good. Look at that fun. blend, girl. Dang. Look at how pretty. You have some talent. I do. That's why I, I come do. to you. <laughs> hey guys, so <clears throat> I just got home. Um, this lighting is really terrible because I feel like you can't really see my hair very well, but it looks amazing. I love it. It's way lighter. Um, I'm not sure if you can really see, but I love it. Agustina does an amazing job every time I go see her, so I'm really just loving my hair. So, um, this light is really terrible. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sure tomorrow you'll be able to see it better in just the daylight, but I wanted to share because I'm really excited about my hair. Um, otherwise, I will be vlogging some more this weekend. Um, I may do some shopping, not sure, but I'll bring you guys along um, and then share whatever it is that I do buy. So thanks for coming along to get my hair done. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm supposed to be vlogging today, but I forgot to bring my camera with us. But... We had to go get our passport pictures taken. I'm just me and my daughter. Um, and then we went to grab lunch at Wingnuts and now we're at the movie theater. We're gonna watch the dog movie. Yeah, we're gonna watch Isle of Dogs. So I will actually get my camera when I get home and do a little bit more vlogging. Um, and then tomorrow I'm gonna do some shopping. So I'll vlog some more. So we're gonna watch the movie. We'll let you guys know how it is. See you guys later. Hey guys, um, so I forgot to take my camera with me earlier today when we went out to do a couple of different things. So I'm sorry, I was supposed to vlog this weekend and I was in a rush and just forgot. Um, I did do a video on my phone really quick, um, but we went out this morning to get some passport pictures taken of me and my daughter. My husband renewed his recently, a couple, two years ago, I think. Um, but mine hasn't been renewed since my first one expired in 2015. Um, and Alexis, my daughter, has never had one. So we had to go get that done. We are going to London and Paris in September. And so we really wanted to make sure we had those sooner than later. Um, but we went to Costco to get our pictures done. I'm sure if you've ever taken your pictures there, you're familiar. Um, my daughter looks so cute. I really hate that they don't let you um, show your teeth when you smell. I feel like it just looks weird. Um, and I really like the way my picture came out. So that was good. Um, as you can see, my hair is definitely more blonde. Um, I really, I love it. I don't even know what to say. Agustina is my hairstylist, my hairdresser, um, and she just does an amazing job every time. So we're not sure if I can go lighter. We're gonna give it about six weeks, I think. I'm gonna go back mid-June um, and then kind of see what it looks like. Um, I may just do like a, a toner um, or if we can add more or make it more blonde then um, we're gonna try that but I'm really happy with the way it looks now so even if we couldn't go blonder I'd probably be okay with that of course I would love to but we'll see um, but I hope you guys enjoyed that part of my vlog um, I'm just gonna go fill out passport applications I need to make an appointment at the post office for that um, and I have to finish a blog that I've been working on for a long time um, but there should be a new video that I'm gonna finish editing today that was supposed to be published on Friday but I had some technical difficulties so I am posting that later today so if you've watched my videos you probably have already seen it by now 
Um, but yeah, that's really what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day. I might go for a walk. Um, it's kind of cloudy outside, um, but it's still like nice and cool outside. It's kind of hot in here. Um, and then I need to do some shopping. So I was gonna go to Barnes and Noble today to get my new book for this month, um, but we decided to just do it tomorrow. I have to go to Sephora tomorrow um, anyway. So I'm gonna go find a new fragrance. I really need a new one, so I'm gonna go check out what they have. I think I have in mind what I want, but I just kinda wanna look around to see um, what all they have. And then, um, stop up by Barnes blah, stop by Barnes and Noble and probably go to Costco um, because while we were there we just didn't want to deal with the Saturday crowd is so crazy what's great about Utah is that on Sundays there are way way less people out so I love that but um yeah just wanted to kind of let you guys know sorry that I forgot to take my camera with me um I wanted to say we had lunch at Wing Nuts, and I've never been there. Um, we go to Buffalo Wild Wings a lot. I've never been to Wing Nuts, but it is amazing. Way better than Buffalo Wild Wings. If you like Buffalo Wild Wings, I'm sorry, but it's true. Um, they're traditional wings at least. Um, I got their lemon pepper dry rub, and then just the Buffalo traditional as well. And they were both just so good. Way better than Buffalo Wild Wings, so I just wanted to put that out there. Um, but I'll let you guys go for now. It's Saturday afternoon right now, but um, tomorrow I will be vlogging some more um, and then I'll make sure to take you guys along. Hey guys, it's Sunday at about noon. Uh, me and my daughter Alexis are going to the mall. Hi. <laughs> so we're going to go to the mall. Um, my husband did not want to come with us. He's going to go for a walk. Um, yeah, we're gonna go to Sephora, so the mall, so Sephora, Lush, Barnes and Noble, and maybe Costco. Um, but yeah, the mall is about 20, 30 minutes away, um, but it's like the closest place that has Sephora, so we're gonna go there. Um, yeah, so just wanted to let you guys know what we we're gonna do. I'm not gonna keep this on while I'm driving because again I don't have a mount. My husband's gonna be getting a GoPro soon for our upcoming trip to Europe in September and then um, we're going on a Mediterranean cruise next year so it's a good time to purchase a GoPro and I can use it and mount it to my car so it's not such a hassle so I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah we're just gonna go buy some stuff I didn't put any makeup on, which I normally don't, but um, just some moisturizer. Sundays are my lazy day, so I live in yoga pants and don't really try very hard. So i um, still in love with my hair. I know it was just on Friday, but I love how much more blonde it is. Um, but I'm sure you guys already saw that. So we're just going to go to the mall. Um, I will walk some more once we get there show you guys what we are getting Lexi I'm just throw your trash there get your hair out of your face okay okay so everyone can see you better um, but yeah I'll vlog more when I get there um, so I'll see you guys in a bit okay so we're at fashion place which is the mall that we're going to um I come here a lot on Sundays I actually think it's the only day that I that I come to the mall um and one of the reasons is because Sundays are really um Notoriously, are supposed to be slow in Utah because people don't really go out on Sundays. Um, this mall is in Salt Lake, Salt Lake County, so there are more people that that go out on Sundays in Salt Lake. Um, 
not as many LDS people in Salt Lake County. Still a lot, I think probably the majority still, but in Utah County, the malls are closed on Sundays, but not in Salt Lake County. Well, that's not true. Um, at least not this mall. So um, this mall has Lush, Sephora, Nordstrom, a lot of the bigger, nicer um, stores and a Lego store. Um, so that's why we come here. I love coming here, but it's always so busy on Sundays. And my husband hates coming on Sundays or just in general because of how busy it is on Sundays um, and not just Saturdays. But we just got here um, and we found parking pretty easily. Usually it's like really hard to find parking. So yeah, so we're gonna go in. Um, I think we're gonna go to Sephora first. Um, Lash, and then I need to go look at some other things. Maybe just do a little window shopping. Um, but let's go. Hmm. Okay, come on. Guys, I got the Twilly. I am so excited. I didn't know that you couldn't film inside a Sephora uh, until they told me that you couldn't. Um, but this is Vanessa. Lexi's wanna be American Girl doll. Um, but I got it, so I'm really excited. We're gonna go to Lush now and then um, to the Lego store, but I just wanted to share with you guys. Say hi. So we'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, we're done with our shopping. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I can't wait till I get home. Um, so we went to Sephora and Lush. First I'll show you what I got at Lush. Um, I got the Twinkle Toes um, foot powder. So, especially during the summer, I like to use these um, powders. Um, not gonna lie, I have uh, stinky feet sometimes, so I like to use this just in my socks or if I'm wearing flats. Um, just gonna sprinkle a little bit in there. I think this was like $10. So I usually use the Tea is for toes or something like that, but I decided to try this one. So, yeah. So my daughter's watching YouTube videos while I'm trying to do this, so. Sorry if you hear that, but um, the next thing I got is a shampoo bar. Um, I'm just gonna have you guys look at me. Um, I got a new shampoo bar. I use the Lush Soak and Float usually, but decided to try something different now that my hair is super colored and it's probably, I think, the most blonde I'm probably going to be able to get. I decided to try a new shampoo bar that is more color friendly. So um, this one is called, let's see, it's called Jason something. I actually have no idea because the one that I intended to get um, which I don't remember the name of that one either. I just remember that it was brown and smelled like coffee. I think the name might have said coffee in it. This one's Jason, Jason something. So this is what it looks like. It's really pretty purple, like really light purple, but not really lavender, I would say, um, color. And it smells really good. I'll have to look up what's in it. Um, when I get home, and I can tell you guys some more, but it's supposed to be really good for color treated hair. So that's good. Um, this is so not cool. And now to tell you about my very favorite thing that I got, um, which I didn't even really decide that I was getting this until yesterday. Um, I got the Hermes Twillies gift set. I am really excited about this. I'm not going to open it here. It's kind of big and I, 
I will show you guys at home. But if you're not familiar with the Twilies Hermes, um, I'll talk about it more when I get home. But that's really what I came to Sephora for. Um, they gave me this cute little fragrance gift set. Um, Sephora was doing three times the points on fragrances today, so that's nice. Um, but yeah. I'm really excited for that. It's my early Mother's Day gift. So um, I will show you guys what that looks like when I get home. Now we're gonna go to Barnes & Noble. I need to buy my new book for this month and maybe get something for Alexis. Um, and then I think we have one more stop and then we'll be going home. So thanks for coming along. Um, and I'll see you guys at our next stop. So I went to the Barnes & Noble closest to me. Um, on my way home. It's not actually the one that I usually go to. Um, and I knew exactly what book I wanted to get. But, unfortunately, they only had the paperback and I prefer hardcover. Um, and I should have checked when I first got there. I kind of walked around looking for it kind of towards the front of the store because that's usually where they have the new releases at Barnes & Noble, but we went to the kids section because I was buying uh, Lexus a Spanish book and she was playing with some of the toys. And then finally, when we go to leave, um, I can't find it and I ask and they say that they don't have the hardcover. So I really wish they would have checked first, but um, there was another location close by about 15 minutes away that I'm gonna go to. I called them, they have it, they're holding it for me. So. Um, but since we're going to this other location, I had Alexis just leave her Spanish book because I didn't want to have to run two charges on my card. So I'm just going to have her pick one out when we get to the other Barnes & Noble. Hopefully we can find the same one. Hey guys, so I just got back from going out and doing all my shopping. So I wanted to show you more in depth on what I got. So. Um, I went to the other Barnes & Noble. Sorry, my windows are open, so my doors are banging. So, um, I went to the other Barnes & Noble, and they had the book. So, what happened is I called while I was at the original Barnes & Noble, um, and they said they had it, and they were going to hold it for me. Sorry, my lips are super chapped. Um... So they said they were gonna hold it for me. Um, and I thought, oh, it's just the hardcover, you know, just the basic card cover, not a big deal. Um, and usually the new release, hardcover's only $20. Sometimes they have um, like discounts or specials or something. Um, Cause I didn't really wanna spend more than like 20, 22, something like that. Um, when we got there, Picked out a Spanish book for my daughter because we left the one we had picked it at the other one. I didn't want to have the two transactions. Um, so we got a book for her, which was like $10. I go to the counter, ask for the book. She shows it to me really quickly and then I go to pay and she tells me it's $40 and I'm like, oh, you know, that's weird. I thought um, it was a different price. Um, but so they don't price match with their website because on the website it was like $20. So I was like, I don't care, fine. I don't like, really like paperbacks. I have some, but um, if I can help it, I always get the hardcover. So I get in the car um, and I checked. And so this is the book that I got, Into the Water by Paula Hawkins. Um, she wrote uh, The Girl on the Train. I never read the book, but I saw the movie and I loved it. And I, I'm still thinking about going back and reading the book, but this is new, very new. I guess I didn't know, I knew it was a new release, but I didn't know how new. And I think they said it came out on, on the first, um, so Tuesday. I know books usually come out on Tuesdays, new releases. So, um, super new. That's why the other place didn't have the hardcover. I guess a lot of the times they sell out of this pretty quickly. Um, but the reason I think that it was so expensive is because it's a signed copy. Either that or 
they just don't price match and it's different on the website because it is $28. It does say that on the cover. So I got a signed copy unintentionally. That's what it looks like. So I mean, it's fine. I don't really like to overspend, um, but I really wanted the book and I really wanted the hardcover. So I'm excited I got it. The reason I chose this book, um, if you guys wonder how I pick my books for my for the month for my reviews, um, I am doing new releases. That's my theme this whole year. Um, is new release books. At least as of my book of the month, I may still read other books that aren't right new releases. Um, I just looked at the reviews and I heard that it was from her. Um, and it's a suspense thriller book, so I love those. Um, and honestly, I tried to find something different because um, I've done. I did a, a suspense thriller, uh, the first book I did, um, and that was The Last Mrs. Parrish. And then I did I'll Be Gone in the Dark, which is, you know, true crime, but it's based on like true crime, so it's not like a, um, a fiction book. And then I did the self-help book last month, which was Girl, Wash Your Face. So I wanted to try to, you know, keep changing it up, but I didn't really see anything that I really felt like really stood out to me. Um, so this one looked good, so I decided to do it. Well, I'm trying to check this before I left because it's kind of, um, just the integrity of the book is not all there. Um, I do take the covers off while I'm reading, um, but then I put them back on after I'm done to, like when I put them on my bookshelf. So anyways, I'm excited to read this. I'm going to be starting that. Maybe not today, but this week, and then I'll do the review. Usually they come at the end of the month, so if you're interested, um, you'll have to stick around and check that out. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the main reason I went shopping today. Um, and that's the Hermes, I hope I'm saying that right, Twilly um, gift box. So I'm going to tell you guys how I even got turned on to um, this perfume. So I had been using the, I'm going to actually show you because it's almost all gone, the uh, Dior, uh, the Miss Dior. Um, this is the, this is the bigger one, two, two ounce, oh. 3.4 ounce bottle, which is the big, the big bottle. Um, I still have a tiny bit in there. If you can see, probably can't. But um, there you go. But I do love this one. Um, but I wanted to try something different, and I wish that I could afford five different um, perfumes at one time. Currently, I can't, so that is literally done. Um, I found out about Twilly. I feel like I've seen the bottles before, but I never really knew anything about them until, um, a YouTuber that I watch, Christina Brawley, you guys may know who she is. Um, she talked about it and the bottle just looks so cute and I was like, okay, you know, I would love to try that one. Um, then didn't think anything of it after that, forgot about it. And then I ordered something from Sephora. A month ago and um, they have like the free samples that you could pick and they had the little Twilly's um, little sample Let's show a little bit in there so I tried it and I loved it and so it's just been on my mind and she talked about this gift set on Instagram on her video videos um, and I think she got it from she ordered it from Nordstrom and then they sent her the wrong one um, so she sent the one they sent back and then she found it at, um, um, Fifth, Saks, Saks Fifth Avenue, um, I think is what it was. So I found it at Sephora. I looked on their website. I saw that they had it. I went in the store. I asked and they were like, yeah, let, let me check if I have it. And they had it. And so I'm so happy. Um, so this has got this really pretty shiny plastic cover. Um, and... I'm gonna show you guys what's in it. So this is a Paris Hermes, is a Paris brand. Um, so it looks like it's really, really pretty. 
Um, this was about 1.30. Um, but the way that I thought about it is the different sizes for the bottles. Um, the biggest one that they have is um, and what's part of this set. I'll show you first what's in the set. So this is what it looks like. Um, this is pretty little. I love this. Pop of color. Um, oh my gosh. So good. So it's very floral um, smelling and I love floral scents. Um, my husband sometimes doesn't really care for them, but I really like them. So this is the 2.87. Yeah, so 2.8 fluid ounce um, bottles, just the bigger one. This one, um, I didn't see this one at uh, Sephora. They had the, I think a one ounce one and then a 1.6 ounce. And the 1.6 ounce was a hundred bucks. I think, yeah, I think that one was a hundred or actually may have been a little bit more. And it was 130 for the gift set. So it comes with this, like I said, the 2.8 ounce bottle. And then it comes with this little dabber, is what they call it. Um, and this is uh, like 0.4 fluid ounces. But this is really great because like when you travel, I mean, you don't want to lug this around, right? I mean, I don't. Um, so it's nice to have this little um, travel size one. I don't know if they make, um, like they make the roller sticks for a lot of different types of perfume and cologne. I've never seen one for this and I was I was looking at the ones I had at Sephora while I was waiting for um, the sales associate to check in the back for the gift box. So I'm glad to have this because um, I can take this with me on vacation and I will be traveling a good amount in the next couple months in the next year or so so this will be nice um but i just love this so much so that is um what i got so early mother's day present for me i'm really excited about it so i wanted to show you guys what that looks like um and give a shout out to christina brawley she'll probably never see this but um I just love watching her videos. She has such great recommendations. Um, a lot of like skincare stuff that I want to try that I haven't yet tried, um, but I hopefully will be in the future. So I wanted to just show that to you guys. Um, and oh yeah, and then I think about a little bit. Give me a lot of perfume samples. Um, so maybe I'll find something else that I like for the future. Um, oh, and it was three times the points today at the fragrances, so that was cool. Um, so I bought at Lush um, Twinkle Toes Foot Powder. I'm not even gonna pretend. My feet stink sometimes, especially during the summer when you're wearing like flats or sandals. Um, it, I don't even mess with that. So um, I've been using for a long time Tea for Toes um, Foot Powder. And it just says effective deodorizing herbal powder to make your feet fresh and odor free. Um, and this was about like $8. And um, I like this one, it's been good so far. It's very lemony smelling. Um, but I'm almost out, so I decided to get another one. And I'm just gonna get that one, but then I saw this one, I've never used the Twinkle Toes. Um, but it just says get glass slipper ready with this royally beautiful rose and geranium powder. Um, and I love. Like the roast stuff smells so good. So I thought this would probably smell better than the other one. So let's see. Yeah, this one definitely smells better. It's pretty strong, but it smells much better. This one was, I think, ten dollars, nine ninety five maybe. Um, but you just put a little bit on your feet or in your socks or in your shoes, whatever. Um, and it's just kind of nice to have that, especially during the summer. Um, and then um, I also got a new shampoo bar. So I think I've mentioned this before. I just did a um, washing my hair routine or how, what I used to wash my hair, my hair washing routine, whatever. Um, and I talked to you guys about the Silk and Float shampoo bar. And 
I do really like this one a lot. This is the one I've been using. I used one from Lush before. It was a purple one that I was told they don't carry in the store when I went in today. I was talking um, to the sales associate about that and I didn't really care for it. It, it just didn't really help my hair. Um, so I've been sticking with this one, but that one specifically for build up dandruff, um, dry scalp, and not necessarily um, specifically good for like color treated hair. And my hairdresser on Friday was like, yeah, you really need to, she knows I'm doing shampoo bars um, and I don't want to go back to liquid, but she's like, yeah, you should really look into, you know, something that's more color safe, especially because you've invested so much money in your hair, um, which is very true. Um, so I went in wanting to get a specific kind. I forget the name, but it's the one that smells like coffee and it's brown and it's supposed to be really good for uh, maintaining uh, your hair color but she said that they don't sell it in the store anymore and I didn't and she was surprised that they ordered it online because she thought they discontinued it um but when I looked online it looked like you could still order it so I didn't want to have to order it online I didn't want to have to wait I'm kind of impatient that way sometimes so I asked her about other um other ones that are good for um colored hair and she suggested this one that I ended up buying and I actually don't know what it's called so i'm gonna look it up for you guys um but it smells really good so i showed you guys what it looked like in the car but here you can kind of see it a little bit better so it's a pretty color um so this one is called jason and the argan oil um so softening softening argan oil bar um, so it says, on a quest for stronger, shinier, softer hair, look no further. Further, this luxurious rose jam scented bar will help you achieve all your hair aspirations. Gorgeous Moroccan argan oil and a moisturizing glycerin base leaves hair smooth and shiny and a fresh and sophisticated lemon rose perfume will linger in your locks all day long. Solid self-preserving bar, lasts at least 80 washes, blah, 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 all the stuff that I know. Um but it doesn't really say a lot about color treated hair. Usually in the reviews, um, people will say like the pros and cons and it looks like, it smells amazing, normal hair. They're not specifically saying it's good for color treated hair, um, but they're not saying it's not. So I'm gonna take the word of the associate and say that it should be good for um, color treated hair. So, Okay, so there's one review that says that it's good for that. So I'm gonna try it, um, see how I like it, um, see how it helps me maintain my hair color. And yeah, so this was, um, I think they're mostly the same price, all of these shampoo bars, um, $11.95. And now that I smell it, I, now that I read that, and I'm smelling it, smelling it again, I can smell the rose. So I have the rose, um, so I have a big one in the shower, but I have a little one in here too. I have so much, I have so much Lush stuff. So I'm just obsessed. Okay, so that's so Rose Argan. Um, and I have a full size one in the shower, but I travel with this one. And it's a body conditioner, but this smells just like this. But this one's exactly the same. So n now that I read that, I can smell it. So I have the body conditioner, like I said, I have the full size. This is a smaller one that I travel with. And I also have the shower gel of the same exact rose um, shower gel. It smells amazing. So, um, so yeah, so I really um, think I'm gonna like this one, especially for the smell. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys, kind of everything that I bought. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys probably not the rest of the day. I'm just going to make dinner. Um, there's a blog that I need to post that I keep putting off. Um, so if you've been to my blog, there's not a lot of activity right now. Um, I've just been super busy, but I need to get back to that. So you guys should see one soon. Um, otherwise I will see you on my next video. This will probably go up on Wednesday. So if you're watching it today, it's probably Wednesday. Um, but yeah, feel free to subscribe um, if you want to watch more videos like this. Feel free to comment down below um, 
if you have any suggestions of other perfumes that you love or um, any great color safe shampoo bars um, or really anything I'd love to hear from you guys and feel free to like the video um, otherwise I will see you guys next time